This cell that was out by Oconomowoc was severe earlier. Uh, they dropped it, they being the weather service, about 30 minutes before it was supposed to expire. Uh, so that's good. We don't need damaging winds. We don't need hail. We need rain. We are under a severe drought now, upgraded today here in southeastern Wisconsin. You notice McGuanago seeing some rain just west of Waukesha. Uh, and there's a lot of lightning with this as well. That one cell that's west of Oconomowoc should be there in Oconomowoc by 526. Pewaukee 547. Brookfield at 6 and downtown Milwaukee by 618. It, it will weaken a little bit as it gets closer to the lake, uh, but obviously I'm not expecting this to be severe anymore, just some much needed rain. Uh, our best chance of rain for today was supposed to be between about 10 p.m. and 3 a.m., uh, but we're getting a little head start here with the afternoon heating. I still believe we're going to see more rain this evening, I mean later this evening and overnight, and then just a very slight chance during the day on Saturday. So I know there's a lot of graduation parties going on. Don't cancel those parties by any means. You just might have a, a, a strong shower out there. Uh, looks like I lost some internet connection, uh, but anyway, this is what it's going to be for the next couple of days. Tomorrow it's 82 degrees, humid once again, close to 90 inland, just a slight chance of some rain. Uh, then for Sunday, you're looking at a high of 84. The key here, though, is low humidity. We're finally going to uh, drop that humidity down. Then on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, temperatures back into the 70s with low humidity, uh, and uh, we will see our next chance of rain Thursday night into Friday of next week. So if you don't see rain tonight, your lawn is going to be even more parched a week from now. Remember, we're on 92nd and Congress at the Greek Church for the drive through Greek Fest this year uh, in West Milwaukee in the Tosa border. We'll be back with more news after this.